Hello, Slay the Pearl speaking. Slay the Pearl, how are you? I'm doing great today, how are you? I got a bit of bad news, though. After the primary yesterday, you're down 30% across the board. I'm sorry, how much? Uh, 30 points, sir, 30 points. And what it looks like, it does not look very well for us. Uh, for our campaign right now. Wait a second, how in the world did that happen? We were just up last week. I have no idea, sir. We have an answer for you this time. So what do we do now? How do we fix this? It's going to be a very, very, very long road, but I think I have a team that may be able to help. All right, let's do it. Senator Crows, our master analyst Brianna Reeves is going to join us on line one. The swing states are states in which no single candidate has overwhelming support in, a, in securing that state's electoral college votes. Senator Quarles, there are approximately 308 million people in the U.S. and only 126 million people voted. What's ridiculous is that only 12.3% of the total votes make up the swing state consortium. In the 2010 census, the Caucasian community had the highest population in the swing state consortium. Therefore, from the numbers that Trevin just presented, we can set you up for more opportunities in a minority and family-oriented setting. The swing state consortium makes up for 21% of the total votes in the national election, correct? According to previous elections, Florida is the most winnable and most important, and also the largest of the swing states with its 29 electoral votes. However, we do not want to forget about the smaller states like New Hampshire, which only contain four electoral votes. However, its undecided voters could be what some may call it a key wild card in this year's election. So far, the 2016 electoral college numbers are being foreseen as Democratic favorable, but in the end, it all boils down to how a few key states are willing to vote this year. Looking at our past data, we've noticed that 38% of the voters range from ages 18 to 24. In order for you to win those votes, we should register voters and teach them how to vote, set up voting polls at college campuses in their backyard, and get you more involved with social media such as Instagram and Twitter.